chill like pop and some smoke and some drink and some some hit those shots to the drum, but it ain't gon' change nothing. I feel like pop and some smoke and some drink and some some hit a bad gun and burn, but it ain't gon' change nothing. I feel like pop and some smoke and some drink and some some hit forty bike and lift, but it ain't gon' change nothing. I feel like pop and some smoke and some drink and some some same shit. You know what? I started one like I started one before this one, and I kind of like listened to it the way I started it, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to sound like no preacher. Like like I don't want to have this format. You see what I'm saying? Like I was trained to do this. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. I I just had to erase it, like, cause I, I'm not about religion. I'm not about being taught a certain way and having this format and this mechanical stuff. I just want to be straight up led by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter. That's His name. That's who Jesus sent to us to to be with us on earth, to lead us and guide us into all truth. So I erased it. I pressed record, and I said, "I'm gonna just let it run because I'm not. I'm not no." I'm not the average person. I'm not going to sound like this one and sound like that one. I'm going to let God use me however he use me. I started off saying, we're going to start in the book of Romans. <laughs> now, you need the word. And whatever, whatever word he give me, I'm going to give it to you because the word is truth. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. The word is true and the word works. Believe me. I've experienced it myself. I've went through, met a lot of trials and tribulations. Some of my trials, I went through it over and over and over and over and over and over in a circle, in a circle, until I got it, that one trial right. Now, don't get it twisted. You're going to go through trials and tribulations all your life. So, you might as well get your mind right, get your mind on it. You're going to go through, period. Sorry. Whatever you thought it was going to be, no. You're going to go through. But for one thing, when you go through and you go through with Jesus, it's a little bit easier. Because God is not going to put too much on you that you can't bear. And he's always going to give you hope. I mean, Jesus is your hope of glory straight up. But he always going to give you hope. The word, maybe he gonna maybe he give his prophets to give you a word to ho hold on to, or something. But when you going through and you don't even know Jesus, oh, I feel sorry for you, Lord. Cause I'm gonna tell you like this, I would have been went crazy if I ain't have God and have people praying for me and going to church and just listening to the word and just keeping my mind on Jesus. I would have been went cuckoo, local. I would have been rip somebody face off, stab somebody up, whatever, kill somebody. I would have been did it straight postal on you, straight up. But that word just kept me. That word, his word just kept me sane. It kept me sane. When, when people was telling me, you ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to make it. I go to the word. God said, I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens me. He loved me. When, when you know, when people turn their back and they betrayed me and they don't, I don't love you. I don't like you. You know, God said, I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. And see, every time, that's how you fight. This is how you, let me tell you, let me give y'all a little something. This is how you fight. Because we don't fight against Prince of against blood and flesh and people. We fighting against spirits evil spirits the devil comes to kill steal and destroy he want to kill your ass trust me and this is how you fight it you can't fight it with cursing them out you can't fight them with a with a nine millimeter and all whatever i'm gonna head bust or whatever that ain't gonna work homie the only thing work is the word you have to you have to you have to hit it bam as soon as they hit you something you gotta hit them back with the word you can't do this I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens me. You know what I'm saying? 
You you ain't you ain't nothing. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm the apple of his eye. I know the plans that he had for me for me to prosper and for me to be in good health. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to fight it. And that's how I had to fight to keep my mind, to keep my mind just not from going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just for not, just for, for staying sane. I had to just get in the word and, and meditate on it and repeat it in my head, 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 repeat it in my head. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. And think about all the words that my pastor, because I know my pastor is a true prophet because her, the things that she tell me come to pass. And and now I believe her. So some things that God told her to tell me, and when I feel like, oh, it's not going to happen, I can think on that word. God is so good. He'll give you something to keep you going. He'll give you something to hold on to. He'll give you hope. When there's no hope, he he he's a father to the fatherless. He is everything you need. Believe what I'm saying. He is real and alive. True entity, power. Ain't no fake Jake around here. I wasn't taught this. I I, I learned. I, I was never raised in the church, so you can't. You know, I ain't no. I ain't no. I ain't no robot. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not. I'ma sit there. I'ma sit there and just look. And see what the real deal is. But when God showed me himself, for, show me him himself, then you know what I'm saying? I know that I know he, he real. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You know, and I'm not going to beat it in nobody's head. I'm not going to make you believe it. You know what I'm saying? All I tell you is just go ahead. Hey, what you got to lose? Say, God, show me you real. I don't believe you. Show me you real. But I got to say this, if it's in his will to do that, he will. Because he's because if he don't draw you, you can't come anyway. That's in a word. If he don't draw you to him, you can't come. Sorry. So God going to do what he do, when he want to do it, and how he want to do it. And he's always right. He's perfect in all his ways. Trials and tribulations, all things work for the good. Read it in your Bible, Romans 8, Romans 8, 28. All things work for the good. The good things work for the good, the bad things work for the good. Whether you know it or not, you're going to know it. And I'm getting to the point where also in um James, James 1, I think 2, verse 2. It says, count it all joy. Just something like, count it all joy that you, you that you're going through these trials. Matter of fact, when you about to go through a trial, you ought to get excited. And and that's the point I'm at. Now I'm like, okay, because I'm like, I don't want to go through no trials. I don't want to go through that no more. I'm tired of going through. But it's I'm realizing I'm in a transition right now. I'm in a state where I'm not what I used to be, but I'm not all that I sup- I'm going to be. So I'm like right in this middle. And that middle part is, oh, that is the ultimate. You right there. You confused, don't know where to go. You ain't, you ain't what you, you used to doing this, but you don't want to do it no more. But you used, that's what you used to doing. You're not used to doing the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's where I'm at right now. And I'm like, okay. And, and, and my word been staying, staying, just staying still and see the salvation of the Lord. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even know what to do. Should I rap? Should I quit rapping? Am I going to do this positive rap? I want to do the positive rap. I want to, you know, I want to do that. But but ugh, sometimes I don't even want to hear that. You feel what I'm saying? And then my flesh want to go back. I want to go back in the club bucking. Yeah, yeah, drinking that liquor, whatever, getting buck, going off. But then when I do that, I don't like it. I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. A big, just a big ball of confusion and ugh, ugh. So, you know what? I can tell you one thing that I have a desire to preach. I've always had that desire, really. I've always had a desire to do worship songs for the Lord. Like, I don't even listen to rap. Not saying nothing. I just don't listen to rap. I don't. I listen to worship music. That's what I like. That's what I'm on. And that's what I want to do. But I always go back and forth with myself. I'm not blaming nobody. I'm blaming myself. I take fault for what I'm doing, you know. So right now I'm trying to move 
into something else. They say faith without works is dead. So you can't you can't work your way into heaven because it's a gift from God. Jesus died for us. He died that we may have life and have life more abundantly. But you can show your, your you show your faith by your works. So I'm getting to the point where I don't just want to sit and, and desire it. I want to do it. So I'm taking initiative and I have faith that I'm going to get on this microphone. Like I get on it when I rap, I'm going to get on it and preach to y'all. And whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether I ain't, I said something good, I didn't say nothing, I didn't help nobody, I'm going to do it anyway. Because I, I'm trying to show God my faith. I'm trying to show y'all what I'm where I'm at right now and what I'm doing. I love God. I want to show him that I love him. I want to I wanna at least take action and it, it try, try to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least try. <coughs> So you're going to be hearing a lot of these little podcasts from me. And I'm going to just be talking, you know, talking, whatever, whatever God put on my heart, whatever I feel like venting out, whatever I feel like doing, I'm going to just be doing this, you know, and y'all might see me, you know, one thing she doing this and doing that, you know, it's just that I'm in this big transition. I'm trying to leave what I've known all my life and what I've been doing, basically sinning and wilding out. And, you know, that was that I was that person back then. I was very angry and very bitter and very hard. But now, you know, God said, renew your mind. You have to renew your mind. And now I'm sitting here and I'm looking at myself. And I'm looking at listening to my songs and I'm almost wondering now, like, who the hell am I? Because, you know, the enemy can hoodwink you. He can deceive you and make you think you something and you really not. Like all this time I've been thinking that I'm this, I'm this hard person. You know, I'm spitting these hard. Now I can, you know, I can write. I'm a good writer. I can write. You know, I mean, my life. My, I guess the things that I went through in my life just made me so hard and so angry and so bitter that I became this angry, hard person. I knock a nigga out. Nigga, don't play with me. I'll bust your face in. Nigga, let's get this money. You know what I'm saying? And. I was that for so long that that's who I just thought that's who I was. That's me. But now, you know, after years and years of going through stuff and just going to church and praying and praying and praying and praying and and reading the Bible and learning about the word and just getting deeper and deeper into it, I'm starting to wonder who the hell am I? Like, have I been deceived all this time? No, I'm not really this angry person. I don't have to be angry. You know what I'm saying? I can forgive and and get on another level and become this the person who God made me to be. That's who I'm trying to find. Who did God make me to be? You know, I don't, I'm starting to look at myself like, I don't think this right that I'm supposed, I'm a, you know, I'm a woman. Women are supposed to be soft and meek and humble and 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 supposed to be a helpmate and a joy and and just a positive, optimistic person, a virtuous woman. That's how God made me to be. But I have been hurt so much that I became something else. So now I'm sitting here going, who am I? Because I'm not supposed to be angry like this. I'm not supposed to be bitter like this. I'm not supposed to have this hard heart. And won't fight everybody. Won't punch somebody's face out. And won't curse somebody out. And nigga don't mess with me. Don't play with me, ho. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to be that. God, you know, and now I'm just in this place where I'm learning so much about me. And finding out so much about me. And 
It is a hard thing, but it's not impossible. But it's an uncomfortable thing to find out that you're not what you thought you was. And now you have to renew your whole mind. You got to renew your whole, the, 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 yeah, the way you think. You got to renew all of that. You got to try to forget everything that you learn and just learn a new thing. Like I grew up under anger and bitterness in my household. I grew up under this negativity. So I grew up a negative person. So now I have to retrain myself to not be a negative person, to be a positive person. I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. I've been negative all my life. How can I become this positive person? I don't even know what the hell that is. So, you know, I'm going to just be coming to y'all and just, just basically running it to you. Let you know how I feel, where I'm going, where I'm at. You know, because right now I don't know where I'm going. I know I'm going somewhere. I know, God, I'm going somewhere. And I know I'm going somewhere great. I just don't know where right now. Like, right now I'm in a transition of still trying to find out who the hell I really am. Who the hell, who really is China White? Am I really China White? Do I need to change my name because I'm something else? I'm not that. You feel me? And I refuse to be de deceived anymore. I refuse to live for the world and what people think and what people think I should be. And China, man, keep spitting that fire. You should stay like that. You don't change. No, I'm not staying in that pit. I'm not staying in that darkness. I'm not staying in that dirt. God brought me out of that. And if I got to quit rap and if nobody don't want to hear me no more, then so be it. I'm tired of that, man. People is food out here. We are being deceived out here. I don't care whether we got us or not. The music, all that shit is deceiving us. Deceiving us. And, and it's keeping us straight in the pit, in the dungeon, in the dirt, in the dark, in the slop, in the slum, in the hood. Just where the devil want us to be. Killing each other, dying, popping pills, smoking weed, taking dope on that syrup, slurred out, dumbed out, in the dirt, ain't moving nowhere, ain't advancing, ain't believing God, ain't moving into the great things that God have us to, 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 to be into, sinning, having sex, um, connecting yourself with all these different men, all these different women, and then you got all that inside of you, you got to break out of you. Catching diseases, getting AIDS, dying, just all this shit. The government lying, all this bullshit, selling, selling cigarettes, selling liquor, letting the dope come in. They don't give a damn about you. They want your ass to die. And they, they happy that us black ass motherfuckers is on a, on a record talking about drink something, nigga, smoke something, nigga, slang that dope, bust that nigga head. They happy we doing that shit. They're happy we killing each other. And it ain't even them. It's the devil. He happy. And I be damned if that thing going I be damned if the devil going to use me. He ain't using me no more. I don't work for him. He is a liar. He's a liar and he's a father of lies. And there's no truth in him. And I'm telling y'all, I go back and forth. I've been fighting this shit. I, I want to go get buck in the club, get cool, drink something, smoke something. And then I want to go to church and praise God and, and tell him how much I love him because I really do. That's what's in my heart. It is me. It's my, my problem. And I take, I take credit. I take all, I take all the blame for it. So I'm in here getting myself right. I'm in, get, I'm in here getting myself right. But I'm telling you, I'm angry because I'm mad. The devil is not going to use me no more. I don't live for him. I'll be damned if he going to use me. I'm a soldier, and I've been a soldier. And I think I think the real shit is, is changing your life around. The real soldier shit? Let me tell you something about some soldier shit. When you, when you, when you decide that you want to live right, and you trying to walk away from this shit? And a nigga tell you, here, we got this million dollar deal for you. 
do this kind of rap. And you sitting there like, what? I'm over here broke. I need money. I could take this million and my family be straight. But leading everybody to hell. Or you know what a soldier do? A soldier said, I don't want that money. I'm going to go work at McDonald's and take care of my family because I want to do what's right for God. I don't want to talk that crap no more. That's a damn soldier. A soldier's when God say, don't have sex before marriage. So you stop, you try your best to stop having sex. You stop having sex. And you in a, in a, in a, in a room crying because you got these feelings. Man, I won't get, oh, I just want to have sex with some, with, with, oh, I just want to feel that. But you say, no, I want to do what's right. That's a soldier who turn that shit down. A soldier who turn a plate down. Because God say fast. Sometimes you got to fast and pray. You know what I'm saying? To get these things broken off of you. To get these spirits broken off your life. To get this, these generational curses broken. And you say, all right, for three days, I'm not going to eat nothing. Are you, gonna, are, you, are you praying for one of your friends? They lost out there. Or they, they going through or They about to go crazy. And you say, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm going to not eat for three days. I'm going to starve myself. That's a soldier. That's a soldier. Ain't no damn soldier out here busting a nigga head. That don't take no work. Out here on the corner, slinging dope, leading everybody to hell. That don't take no work. Nigga, when you discipline yourself, when you deny yourself, when you deny yourself and say, I'm not going to do it no more. I don't want the money. I don't want no fame. I don't want nothing. I'm going to not have sex. I'm going to kill my flesh. If I got to go in a closet and hide, hide myself for a whole week, for a whole month, whatever. Whatever I got to do, Lord, I want to live right. That's a soldier. Y'all talk about ride or die. You know who rode and died? Jesus Christ. He took all our sins and got on that cross and was nailed to it. It died for me. None of these niggas, none of these girls. My own husband abandoned me. People I thought was my friends betrayed me. Ain't nobody going to give you no money. Like that, N nigga don't be wanting to give you. Nigga don't want to help you. Niggas ain't going to really ride or die for you. You know who going to ride, who, who didn't rode and died for you already? Jesus Christ, he died for you. He the real soldier. He the real rider. I'm tired of all this bullshit. All that shit is bullshit. All that stunting and in the club, jumping around, all that, all that stunting. I'm the man. That's some bullshit. Ain't none of these no motherfucking riders. These niggas ain't gonna do nothing. These niggas ain't gonna ride or die for you. Ain't gonna kill for you. Ain't you can't even get a nigga to give you twenty dollars. God is real. God is real, and stuff is getting serious. And I'm gonna tell y'all that. I try, man, I'm going to tell you, when you sinning, you doing all kind of stuff, you, the door is wide open for anything to happen to you. The enemy could come in. The enemy will come in and get your children. The enemy will come in and kill your children because of stuff you doing. And I have a daughter, and I just, I want her life to be way better than mine. And not everybody got to go through their trials and tribulations. But if I, if I can make her life a little bit better and I can teach her and instill in her the foundation, the word of God, and, and, and do this and do that, because ch children are going to do what they want to do anyway. But if you, if, you, you, if you do your best and close all them doors, keep closing them doors, man. Don't let, don't, don't, try, try not to let no, no devil, no spirit come in. You'll be good. I mean, you'll be on your way, man. You can keep yourself from a lot of stuff. And I'm getting to the point, man, where I don't I don't want to open no door to nothing. I don't want nobody. I don't want something to happen to my child. I don't want something to happen to my mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, because I, I'm wilding out. I'm doing something, and you never know. Just let the devil come in or God be like, okay, I'm going to whip your behind right now. Because God chastises who he love. I don't want that. If I can keep that away, 
then I'm going to do everything in my power, man, to straighten up. And, I, I, and I'm just getting to the point where... You know, even in this this this, this record this, this 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 these record these this record deal I got, you know what I'm saying? The contracts and all that, man. Fuck a contract. These niggas is not gonna tell me what I'm gonna do. I belong to the most high God. And I gotta do what he say do. And if they not with it, then they ain't with it. I'm not serving no devil. Let these mug, mugs out here serve the devil. Glory in their riches. Because they riches and they money is they God. But if they lose all that money, what they going to do? Go blow their head off in a hotel somewhere. When you have Jesus, you lose everything. Guess what? You not to come back up. You not to come back up. Money ain't my God. Riches ain't my God. Cause ain't my God. Fame ain't my God. Jehovah Jireh is my God. Yahshua. I'm not playing with him no more, dog. I just gotta let y'all know, man. I love y'all, but I'm I'm in this transition, and I can't go back this time, dog. I got to let it go. I got to do what God have for me to do, and if I gotta get on here because of my faith, and I'm a practice, practice, and just preach to y'all, preach to y'all, I'm gonna do it, point blank. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all too, I have been getting caught up into it too. It's easy to get caught up in that world. It's easy to 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 it's easy to give into your flesh. It's easy. Easy. But it don't it don't amount to nothing. It's no purpose. And that's what I've been doing too. I I, I have I'm I'm I was born a leader. I'm a leader. I don't follow people. I tell you that. I always go against the grain. I, I never was the type to follow somebody or copycat on what people do. And even myself have been falling into some things. Even thinking about, oh, I need to do this. You know what I'm saying? I need to do that. Well, I need to do this. The people going to want to hear that. The people. So I should go to damn hell and not do what God want me to do for the people when the people don't even give a damn about china white china white might be hot today and they love her and when she fall off they don't give a damn who she is where she at and what she doing who cares so all i'm saying is dog y'all might see me going through some stuff you know but i'm in this transition and i'm about to transition to the the next level I have been keeping myself in this same circle for a long time, fighting the same thing, going back to the club. I'm out the club. I'm in the club. I'm out the club. I'm in the club. I'm out the club. Dog, dog, I'm tired for real. I'm tired. God told me to humble myself. Humble myself. And that hurt, but if I got to let it all go, I just got to let it all go. For real, straight up. So I'll see y'all next time, man. Lord, I try.
try to be good, good one day even It must be something deep inside of me They need to come out I'm asking for your help You gotta fight this battle Cause I can't do it by myself I need you I need you to clean this mess up I need you 